Hello and welcome back. In one of the previous videos I explained how to play sounds with an Arduino, but those were just basic tones. If you want to play actual speech or music or sound effects, it is a lot harder than you might think. But to make things simpler I bought this MP3 sound module, which does make things a little simpler, but not really very simple. Let's take a look at it. This is a WTV020SD MP3 module. It is called an MP3 module, but guess what? It does not play MP3 files. That's right. It can only play a stupid obsolete format called AD4 that I hadn't heard about before I started tinkering with this thing. So let's do that right now. There is a link in the description where you can download this AD4 converter. And once you do that, you can create a folder called audio and save the AD4 converter.exe file in the folder. Save your file that needs to be converted to 84 format in the same folder and rename it to 0000. Make sure your file is a WAV file and not an MP3 file. And make sure that it is converted from stereo to mono and it is a 16-bit PCM file at no greater than 32 kilohertz. You can do this on a free software called Audacity and it is very easy to do. Once you have the right WAV file, renamed to 0000.wav and saved in the audio folder, you are good to go. If you have more than one file, you can name them 0001, 0002 and so on. Open the command prompt and type cd space backslash. This will take you to the main C root directory. Type cd space audio to access our audio folder that we have created. And to convert the file, type 84 converter space dash e4 space 0000.wav and press enter and there we have it you have just converted your wav file to an 84 file now if you want to do the same with more files you can rename your 0001 2 3 and 4 accordingly once you have all the files created we need to put them on our sd card now i have done a whole two videos on sd cards and how to use them with arduino so make sure you watch that to know what you're doing before you start this once you have tested your SD cards and they work, it's time to put them in the MP3 module and connect the module to our Arduino. This is a schematic. We are using pins 4, 5, 6 and 7. Pin 4 goes to the reset pin on the module. Pin 5 goes to the clock pin, which is pin P04 here. You might have a different module, so check the data sheet to make sure your connections are correct. Pin 6 goes to P05, which is the data pin, and finally pin 7 goes to the busy pin, which is pin P06 on this module. Once done, our speaker goes to speaker plus and speaker minus. Let's power up the module with 3 volts. Okay, we got the hardware part done. Let's get our codes and libraries in place. This is the easiest part, by the way. Make sure you include the WTV library. If you don't have it in your libraries, I will leave a link below in the description that you can copy and paste into your Arduino libraries folder. After that, we just initialize the four pins that we are using and then we create an instance with the four parameters that we just defined. After that is done, we can start processing our sound files. Once the module is initialized and reset, we can give it the play voice command to play our first file. So let's see how that sounds. Now, I have been trying to get this level of quality and loudness from an Arduino for a long time and I have failed miserably. So this little module solved my problem and it is a very handy module if you can get through the conversion part. Now if you want to play multiple files you either have fun with the program by using the stop voice command 
which stops the current audio from playing and, and you can type in the play voice command with the file number one which will play the file 0001 and so on. Likewise you can use the pins P02 and P03 for next and previous files. You can ground one of them momentarily to play the previous or the next files. And that's how you play awesome sounds with the Arduino guys. Hope this was helpful. Keep fun engineering, stay safe, and I will see you next time.